Tako, he used to contract the Saragrahi and the Baravahi. Saragrahi means the Vaishnava who takes the essence, and the Baravahi means the person who is bari, carrying the bara, just a burden. So, the learning so many shastras. Collecting so much money and constructing temples, all these things, they're only a they're only a burden. If one is not taking the essence, if one is taking the essence, then one may also do these things. But if one is neglecting the essence, then they're only a burden. That is called a baravahi. See, Krishna, Krishna consciousness cannot be spread by money and Krishna consciousness cannot be spread by buildings. Krishna consciousness can only be spread by being Krishna conscious yourself. All the jivas are bahimuk. They turn their faces away from Krishna's service. So only the association of a person who is Krishna Unmuk can make a Bahimuk Jiva become Krishna Unmuk. This is Prancha. So, Srila Bhakti no Thakur was doing bhajan here and he called this place Vananda Sukarakun. So Nanda Sukada Kunj is actually uh, the uh, Kunj of the Ananga Manji in the middle of Radha Kunj. So it is said, Krishnam Smaram Janam Chasya Koryam Prasthan Nija Samihitam that one should always remember Sri Krishna along with the associates under whose guidance one will serve Sri Krishna. One should be absorbed in the Qatar of those particular associates. For by becoming absorbed in remembering their moods, their moods may come to us. And one should reside in Braj. But where? Where? What is the place of one's service? So Srila Bhakti Nautaku, Kamala Manjari is eternal place of service for Nanda Sukharakunj. So when he stayed here, he conceived that, internally conceived that he was in that place. Though Radha Kund is over there, the other side of a Ritudu. So here is also the, on this side is the Bhajan Kutir. Just now we'll go down and give Pranam in all the places. Here is the Bhajan Kutir of Srila Gokisho Das Bhavdi Maharaj. So we say Namo Gauri Kishoraya Sakshat Vairagya Murte. Srila Gopishita's Babaji Maharaj was the <coughs> direct embodiment of Vairagya detachment. But he used to come here, he used to come here and hear Qatar from Srila Bhakti no Thakur, his Shiksha Guru. Srila Bhakti no Thakur was married twice and had 13 children. His, his first wife passed away when their first child was only one, less than one year old. And 
Yeah. So he had to marry again because, because he will take care of the child. So Sila Gokishota's Babaji Maharaj could recognize the immense uh, spiritual qualities of Srila Bhakti no Thakur, so he used to come here to take Shiksha from him. And here is also the Samadhi of Srila Bhakti no Thakur, his actual Samadhi is here. There is Pushpa Samadhi in the Yoga Pit, his actual Samadhi. And here, I don't know if you saw, but the next room is the room of uh, uh, Bhimal Prasad, his son, who became Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur. And here are also the deities of Sisi, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur's deities of Gorga Dadha. Don't think that the worship of Gorga Dada is any, in any way supportive of Gauranga Nagribab. <laughs> Rather, Radharani has appeared along with Krishna in Gaur Lila to assist Sri Chaitanya Mahapu in realizing her moods. So, when sometimes Godada Pandit, he would recite a verse of Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. And explain the mood of Radhika. <coughs> and then Mahaprabhu, <coughs> then he would also recite the verse in his the attempt to become absorbed and relish that same mood of Radhika. So when Srila Gurudev was here one time, he was pointing to the, the poster. You can see the deity of Gadadhar here. His hands are like this. So, mainly Vaishnavas tell that Gadada is giving praying with both hands. Hmm? But my Guru Dev, he said, <coughs> Gadada Pandit, he uttered the verse, Vahapidam natavaravapuhu kanayo kanikaram vidbradvasa kanaka kapisham vayajantim chumalam Randranveno Adarasudaya Puream Go Pabrindai Brindananyam Sopradaramanam Pravisargita Ketihi Describing how Sri Krishna, like a Natabara, dressed like an actor upon a stage, playing his flute, surrounded by, by his cowed boyfriends, and singing and dancing, they're entering into the forest. So then Mahaprabhu, he began to sing this verse. And trying to relish and realize the mood of Radhika. But as he sang the verse, he, the mood was not exactly right. So then Gadara Pani went. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> so in this way, in the form of Gadara Pandit, Radharani has appeared and is inspiring and helping <coughs> Krishna realize her own mood. <coughs> His pastimes were very sweet. <coughs> so, Sila Bhakti Nautaku was worshipping Gorga Dada in this conception. So, I was astonished to see as we were coming, 
they have taken up the railway tracks now. Yeah. Did you see? Uh -huh. Before you used to be. Yeah. I mean, the pieces of track are lying here and there on the ground, but they've taken them up. Sila Bhaktino Thakur had the, uh, was the highest ranked Indian official in the British government. <laughs> he was a judge. And uh, he was very much respected by the British government because he could get things done. Court cases that would take days and days. He would just listen to the case and just decide there and then. And everyone was satisfied. So 